Our vehicles, of course, are getting more and more advanced with options like backup cameras and dashboard computers. But soon, some of the newest technology on the road could actually be the road itself. CBS 4 Sean Chitness joins us live talking about a new program that can make smart roads a reality in Denver. Interesting, Sean. Yeah, Karen, it is pretty cool stuff. It will have an impact on how we get around town, and it can also change how we use our cars while we're inside them. But for now, CDOT wants to use this idea, this technology here along Brighton Boulevard, testing smart roads and learning more about the cars that are driving on them. What if our roads of tomorrow could become a digital network connecting drivers with real-time information? That's the goal, and one day you could get access to the internet or charge an electric car. But for now, the technology may help CDOT collect important data. A smart pavement that helps you understand if someone has left the road at a really high rate of speed. It's a different way to make the roads we drive on each day. Pieces paved before they are placed on the road, one after the other. Embedded with digital technology and wireless connectivity to transform ordinary roads into smart roads. The potential to help drivers learn about traffic delays and road conditions. Police and fire departments could also learn about crashes quicker. So we're looking at it for a variety of reasons. CDOT will spend a few million dollars to test out about a mile of pavement near 38th and Brighton. Depending on how well it goes, they could use more of this technology along a stretch of Red Hill Pass on 285. It's a collaboration between a startup in Kansas City and CDOT, a chance to pave a new path for commuting around our state. It's one of the reasons, frankly, they're coming to Colorado as far as the innovation that we have here, and they're willing to make an investment in our state as well. So that first mile they're going to test out, they will place it here along Brighton Boulevard next week, next week, and then they'll see how it works, testing it for about a month. Live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness, covering Colorado first.